गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ मुंशी रशीदुल इस्लम असिसटेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मेकानिकल इंजीनियरिंग जे आई एस कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग नाउ टूडे इज द फर्स्ट क्लास ऑफ काइनामेटिक्स एंड डायनामिक्स ऑफ मेसेंस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू नो दैट इन प्रीवियस करिकुलम दैट सब्जेक्ट वॉज इन टू डिफरेंट सब्जेक्ट दैट मीन्स नाउ today you have learned and or you have to get some idea about this subject but previously it was under the old curriculum it was two subject two separate subjects are there one subject was fifth semester fourth semester that that subject name was mechanism and in fifth semester Uh, the second version of the of the mechanism subject that was the dynamics of machine but in present scenario and the upgradation of the syllabus and curriculum we have just merged the two paper into a one single paper and that paper uh, newly name is um, kinematics and dynamics of machine so that's why so two different paper was there uh, and two different syllabus also comparatively less than that of the present syllabus so that's why the present syllabus is too much vast syllabus because two paper are combined in one single paper so so let's uh, start about this subject first the kinematics and dynamics of machine so totally we have to concentrate so uh, on the theory of machines previously name was theory of machines and mechanism so first of all what is theory of machines and how it can be um, defined in terms of the paper related point so first of all theory of machine that is actually a machines or a mechanism which is actually applied to the science that is used to the understand the relationship between the two uh, between the geometry and the motion of the parts of the machine or any mechanism for the force that must be uh, produced for the motion so that that is actually the mechanism and theory of machines part related point and basically the force and the effect of the um, different types of um, external agent which is actually the motion controlling system and that motion controlling system during the force acting on a, any particle body when the particle are in moving conditions so on that situation something should be happen and that um, point to be noted as a mechanism and that mechanism point is the main point of the uh, <coughs> today's topic so now let us see what is actually the case that means uh, if you all consider now mechanics which is actually the science uh, dealing with the motion Uh, that you know in the engineering mechanics subject but from the mechanics part uh, then the second point um, will come at the mechanism so division of mechanics we know that the uh, two types of um, systems are there one is static that is that is basically deals with the system which are not changing the time changing with time so that is a special uh, point of view where the static that means some structure which is actually fixed there will be no relative motion no motion or no velocity is there only in, with time variant if i push the external load it should move otherwise it cannot be move so next point is dynamics dynamics means which is actually in the subject uh, mainly deals with the system for uh, which uh, changing with some uh, time that is the dynamic part now again the dynamics in division of dynamics the dynamics may also be subdivided into two main parts 
वन इज काइनेटिक्स एंड अनदर इज काइनेमेटिक्स सो काइनेटिक एंड काइनेमेटिक्स बोथ आर द इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट काइनेमेटिक्स पार्ट हुई इज एक्चुअली इट इज एक्चुअली द सब्जेक्ट हुई इज बेसिकली डील्स विद द मोशन एंड द टाइम एंड काइनेमा मीन्स द ग्रीक वर्ड मोशन काइनेमा मीन्स इन द ग्रीक वर्ड मोशन एंड द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज काइनेटिक्स काइनेटिक्स इट इज ऑब्वियसली अनदर सब्जेक्ट हुई इज मेनली डील्स विद द मोशन टाइम फोर्स सो इन काइनेटिक्स पार्ट द सब्जेक्ट मेनली डील्स विद मोशन टाइम एंड फोर्स बट इन काइनेमेटिक्स पार्ट वी हैव जस्ट कंसिडर ओनली द मोशन एंड टाइम सो फोर्स इज नॉट कंसिडर इन दैट रेस्पेक्ट नाउ इफ यू सी द स्क्रीन दैट द स्टैटिक दैट मीन्स एनी टाइप ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर हुई इज एक्चुअली फिक्सड एट एनी पॉइंट दैट इज कॉल्ड द स्टैटिक नेक्स्ट काइनेमेटिक्स काइनेमेटिक्स मीन्स हुई इज एक्चुअली द सब्जेक्ट where the motion and time can be considered force is not uh, not necessary for that cases and the example of the kinematics is actually the mechanism and next point is kinetics kinetics simple example is our force is required time also a one important point and motion also be there that means the machine is a simple example of kinetics now next point some definition that you have to we know because uh, that subject mainly deals with the some machine mechanism component and also the relative motions that should be um, counted in each and every point of this subject because the dynamics part also be engaged here so first is what is machine that machine means a device which is actually used to transfer or transform energy to do some useful work so a device mainly any type of device that is mainly used to transfer or transform the energy to do some useful work and that is called a machine and mechanism and mechanism means that is actually a device to transfer or transform the given input and convert into a some specific output motion and that is the that the phenomena is called as a mechanism so machine is a unit and constant um, portion and that i visible that i saw the actual cases how it can be performed but mechanism that means the internal matter which is actually transform and transform phase when we put some input and give some specific output but we cannot feel the mechanism we cannot feel the phenomena next the structure structure that is a single body that has no relative motion or the combination of bodies with no relative motion so just like structure is a fixed member which have no dip, deflection no motion and no any other combination of motion so that type of um, uh, body is called as a structure now the classifications of mechanism now the classifications of mechanism according to the based on the nature of the output speeds according to the nature of the output speed the um, mechanism can divided into uh, two different parts one is uniform motion mechanism and another is non uniform motion mechanism now if i consider if i consider uniform motion mechanism that means suppose suppose some one cases are there where that um, some uh, machines can perform in such a cases um, mainly uh, deals with some point of view where the 
different uh, useful work if i putting the input uh, we can get some output with uh, some uniform um, with some uniform motion and that type of mechanism is called the uniform mechanism non uniform non uniform means in some certain interval uh, that means the time variant is very very important and in that cases uh, that cases that means the uniformity is not necessary uh, suppose some time gap is variable that means after if i putting the value if i putting any type of input on a machine the machine can perform in such cases that the variable that the output variable cannot be get with some fixed interval with some get suppose first input we can get after 5 seconds and again the next output come with after 3 seconds that means the time variable is not necessary maintained in this cases so that's why and the non uniform motion mechanism and the uniform motion mechanism both can be mm, mm, performed with respect to some time and time is very very important in this type of mechanism now the equal displacement for equal time interval that is the simple example of uniform motion and the uh, examples will all gear drives all chain drives and belt drives without feel you know, without slip that means <coughs> suppose if i putting any input in gear drives that means uh, in gear drive cases or chain drive all the types is actually called as a drive and belt drive belt drive with slip that means um, in gear drive no chance of slipping in chain drive slipping chance slightly have there but in gear drive no slipping chance will be there because in gear drive the power transmission and motion can be transmitted when the two bodies when the two mating bodies are in contact positions otherwise otherwise no chance will be there to slip so that's why in the given examples uh, above among the three in giving examples the gear drive is a perfect drive which is actually carry the motion with some fruitful um, manner and it is actually a positive drive otherwise the other um, the belt drive and chain drive is not um, properly used with a maximum output that means the uniform motion cannot be get uh, in belt drive or chain drive now next these are the simple example uh, suppose a different type of gear uh, first one is <coughs> spark gear where the a driver and driven member are also engaged next bevel gear ohm gear rack and pinion and also a spiral gear so these are the different types of gear which are actually used for the purpose of the um, purpose that showing to the uniform motion transmission uh, from the um, driver to driven member that means if i put the input we can get some output with a uniform um, motion another point of view where the spar gear where rack and pinion also be connected and um, the motion of a uniform mechanism can also seen here that is also a gear train where the first gear and fourth gear are also coaxial and the second and third gear are also in same same shaft that means they, we we can explain that that type of gear is called as a reverted gear train and in reverted gear train we know that the second and third gear are also in same shaft but first gear and fourth gear are also coaxial and that also a important point uh, of reverted gear mechanism and uh, the uniform gear mechanism and that is actually collected from the uh, from the tata mcgrail 
go by the um, design of uh, machine element design of machine elements now that is the chain drive and belt drive non uniform motion um, mechanism the simple example because these are the three view chain drive belt drive and belt drive with a, a idler third view is belt drive with a idler so in chain chain drive belt drive i already explained that chain drive belt drive uh, uh, different types of drive that have a possibility to uh, to drop down the uh, mechanism or interrupt the motion transmission because it cannot be happen um, properly because the time is a important point and if the one if once suppose slipping is or uh, happen that means the interruption will start so that's why it is called non uniform mechanism and these are the simple example of non uniform mechanism non uniform unequal displacement for equal uh, equal time interval simple example uh, linkage mechanism cam mechanism and geneva wheel uh, these are the another example of uh, um, geneva mechanism Uh, cam mechanism and also a linkage mechanism and here the important point is actually the time variable and time constant is not necessarily properly maintained in this regard and <clears throat> this is actually the cam profile um, uh, which is actually collected from um, the tata magrel book um, and suppose some points are to be noted here and that is basically a cam which is actually rotated and with uh, followed by a follower and that follower here we seen in green color and that type of follower mainly in used here that is the flat face follower and in flat face follower uh will give the cam rotate and give some motion to the follower and follower move on in reciprocating uh, or on the long to and fro motions another type of example where we use the different types of uh, motion that can be transmitted from one system to another system with some specific zone and now uh, for today's class we have to concentrate about the different types of um, machine mechanism and different types of um, uniform motion mechanism non uniform motion mechanism uh, structure uh, static part dynamic part and kinematics and kinen kinetics etc etc so all the points can be uh, treated as just like introductory part or introductory class of today's class now next day we are discuss with a new point and also a new topic thank you